In this video, I'll show you that how you can manage cookies of your DAP, whether you are building Web2 application or Web3 application, whether you want to provide advanced authentication or you want to provide basic level of accessibility to your client when they will interact with your application. So this is the application which I'm working on and here I'm providing authentication. So it's going to be a music NFT marketplace. It has a lot of feature. It's a kind of social media platform for a music album. So anybody can come and they can select the music and they can play the music of that particular artist. So if I select this one, I can simply play this one. It's going to play. I can simply follow the artist, follow the user. I can go to different sections. So currently I'm working on it. So soon it will complete and you guys can have the access of this course. So right now you can see I'm done with the login. I can simply click on this authentication and here I'm, I'm logged out with the application and I don't have the access of the data. So the logic I have implemented that once the user will create his account and that's what you generally find when you will interact with any social media platform. So you create your account, then you will have the access of the application. So I can click on the sign up. I have to give him my credentials. So I'll say dollar dot com. I can simply go and give the password and I'm going to simply reload the page. And finally, I have the access in the application. So it's working absolutely fine. I can simply follow anybody and it's going to work absolutely great. So I'm following this user. Everything is working fine. Now I will show you that how you can manage it. So I can simply do the inspect element. So I'm using a package which allow me to manage the entire cookie. And based on that, I can do this modification. So let's talk about the code first. So if I come back here, so this is the backend part. You can see we have a huge. So this is the backend API in that we have the comment, conversation, message, post, story, user. This is the middleware. This is the controller. So I'm still working on it once it will complete within a week. So you guys can simply have the access. So I can simply remove this one, this backend part. Now, this is the entire index page because we have multiple component. You can see it's pretty huge. Now I want to get into the components. We have so many components. You can see it's really very big application. So I'll go back to the header and here I'm managing this particular cookie. So I'm using this particular library, which is really very powerful and it's very easy to use it. So this is the library which I'm using. You can simply come and you can check this out that how you can utilize it in your project. What are the session you can simply create and how you can create multiple check on the cookie. So that's all you can able to find here. But I, I have a multi-level authentication which I'm using. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm simply importing this particular package. Now I'm creating this use hook. I'm calling this particular function. I'm giving the name of the token which I'm sending in my browser. So when the user will come, it's going to have the data in the browser as a name of token because that's the exact thing I'm sending in my API. So if I come back to my authentication auth controller, this is what I'm sending. When the user will log in into our application, I'm sending this cookie. So where it is, I'm sending this particular data. You can see this is the cookie which I'm sending in the user browser and I have called this token. And that's the same thing I'm getting access here. So again, I have to come back here. So if I go this and that's the exact name I have given token and that's what I'm accessing. So once you have the cookie name, you can simply access that and based on that, you can simply provide the authentication. So this is really powerful. I would suggest you to come and have a look and this project will come soon on the channel. So you guys can simply follow it. It has a lot of things you can see. We have a bunch of things we have. So like you can go home. Like currently I'm filling out the data, so it's working. We have the popular, I'm going to do the modification. Here you will find all the notification whenever uh, your favorite artist will upload and you are following. Here you will find your profile. So you will have all of the data which you will create. And you can come here and you can simply create, click and you can create. So those who will have the verified account or those who have the member, they can only create and list because that's what we are providing. It's a music NFT platform for the artists. So we have, so we have to allow only those users who have the good reputation in the industry and they can only call create, but other user can simply come and they can listen. They can like, so you can comment. So we have multiple comment strategies. So this is the one you can simply post a comment. You can come back here. You can simply edit your comment. So if you want to comment in on a specific comment, you can simply do that i'll say hey post and it's going to simply so the comment is successfully now let me come back here so this is the one which i have commented and here i am come back here and you can see this has one reply which is hey so it has a lot of things you can simply like you can unlike there's tons of things you have so this project is pretty huge and a lot of feature we have in that so it's going to be a very powerful we're going to have an airdrop which we'll do soon here you can able to read about 
all the latest product all the latest music or we're going to simply promote some of the cryptocurrency right from here and from here you can able to upload and from here you can able to see all the details about the selected music so if the user will select this you can able to have the information so let's see this is the music is selected if you select this one the music will change if you select this one it will change and you can able to listen to the music so it's going to be a very powerful application soon it will come on the channel so you guys can follow that you can click on this and from here you can do the editing it will take you here so you can upload your avatar you can upload your cover picture you can display all this detail so when you will come back here it's going to reflect in the profile so you will have your photo i haven't uploaded the profile the cover picture which you can do so there is tons of thing but the main focus i want to give you on this cookie which you have to implement and when this project will come and that i will explain you in brief that how you can do the multi-step multi authentication and it's really powerful so that's the only thing from my end if you still have any confusion any doubt so do let me know a lot of you guys have been requesting me that how we can provide authentication in the web3 application because most of the authentication is happening through metamask but sometimes we have to limit the authentication of the metamask to a specific when we are interacting with the contract but when a normal user will come for listening music or checking all this data they don't need to connect with the metamask they can connect but we don't want them to make the transaction we can fetch most of the data from the back end and we can display so it's a perfect example of communication of back end and the front end and the smart contract you can see we have the smart contract as well so tons of things we're going to learn in this hope you guys have got an idea that what exactly we have here in this and again i want to tell you that if you really want to master blockchain development then must check this out like this is the one which i have launched and a lot of students have taken already and there is a lot of things you will learn once you will complete this project i would suggest you to watch this video to have a better understanding that what are the feature we have included that will teach you a lot of things so that's the only thing from my end if you have any confusion any doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to help you in that have a good day bye bye